I've gotten a lot of requests from people uh, viewing my videos to have access to the Arduino powered model railroad turntable controller I've been building. Um, and I've let everyone know that that's contacted me, um, that I'm going to release the plans for these devices for free online. And before I release them, I wanted to kind of clean them up and make sure they're a little bit more user friendly than what they currently were at the time. As I started the process, I got sucked back into the project, completely rewrote the code, added a whole bunch of new functions, and designed a brand new controller. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick update on this controller, kind of where the project's at, and what to expect in the future. Um, unfortunately, in this video, I'm not going to be able to give a demonstration of this new controller working on an actual turntable, uh, because it's just not complete. So. While this is the finished user input uh, device for the controller, there's also going to be a sister device that connects to it via Ethernet. And that de sister device is going to house the, the relays needed for the auto reverser of the turntable, um, the power supply, as well as the stepper motor controller is all going to be in that, that sister device. And until I build that sister device, it, this just won't work. But I figured I can still give you a, a quick heads up of what's changed. Um, so right now, as you can see, I've, I've just got it plugged in to a USB uh, power supply and it's, it's working just fine for demonstrations. Uh, the biggest change on this unit is obviously the LCD screen and the keypad. So before I was using an Arduino Mega and I was using a ton of the pins on it. It was terrible to wire. Um, it was really hard to keep all the wires straight. It was a mess. So to try to minimize the amount of wiring needed when building one of these, I changed it to this kind of setup. So now all you have is this keypad, your four potentiometers, and your LCD display, and you get pretty much the exact same functionality as the last device. It's just a lot easier to wire. Um, the screen up top shows you a lot of things. So on the right side here, you can see like you're programming your tail position if you wanted. You can change that to head if you want. Um, this is the polarity of your turntable. Currently it's in normal. Um, this is if you wanted to program something, you could hit that. So that means if you press any one of these buttons, you'd program a new position. Um, this reverses the polarity of your turntable. It tells you the polarity. This changes the device from uh, automatic mode to manual mode. So if you don't want to use automatic mode, you can still use it in manual. And if you're in automatic mode, uh, the screen has a lot more functions. So you can also navigate the screen using these A, B, and C buttons and uh, see your settings. You can calibrate your turntable. So now instead of having to calculate the amount of steps per revolution, of uh, your turntable, this device will actually calculate it for you. So it's a lot easier than how it worked before. Um, you can also see your save positions. So whenever you program your save positions, you have 18 save positions. You can actually see how many steps from the center they are, which is extremely good if you're troubleshooting. Um, this is a lifesaver. So that's why I added it. And you can see all of them here. And you can go back to the menu. Um, so yeah, that's just a quick overview of the turntable project. Again, I will be posting all of these plans, program, all that good stuff online for free once it's complete. It's, it's just not quite there yet, unfortunately. So in closing, hopefully in the next two months, I'll finish this up. Uh, I'll give another follow-up video of the final product. And I believe I'm going to try to post all of these files on the Arduino Project Hub so everyone can download them. And I'll make a quick write-up on how to wire everything up, how to set it up, um, and, and what to expect when you're using it. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I know this is really quick and, and there wasn't a lot of action on the screen, but uh, I know some people were really interested in the project and I wanted to give them an update. So thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.